Hey YouTube, uh, this is MV Peterson here. Um, uh, okay, this video is going to be about Percy Carvin. Um, the big news, you might want to call it news, I don't call it news, is apparently Percy Carvin wants out of Minnesota, or management wants to trade him out of Minnesota. Really nothing new has come out in the, in the media. It's just regurgitation of a whole bunch of stuff that happened a while ago. Here's, here's the deal. Percy Harvin gets paid less than any other receiver on the team, which is ridiculous because he's the best by far. Um, so he's upset. He comes to camp last this, this year after the 3-13 season, and he comes to the, man, uh, the voluntary things, and then he doesn't show up the next day and requests a trade. Um, I think he's, I think this is his failed attempt at a holdout. He doesn't really know how to do a holdout. His manager is trying to get him to do all the stuff, or his agent, and, you know, he doesn't know what's going on. So, Percy Harvin just knows he's unhappy, he wants to win, he's on a 3-13 team, and he's not happy. I mean, he's been a winner all his life. He won the Virginia State uh, Championship, he won two national championships in college. He's he's not used to losing. When he came to the NFL, he was in the NFC he was yeah, he was in the NFC championship game his first year. So, he's not used to losing. And so it pisses him off. Like all good foot football players, he gets pissed off when he loses. I mean, have you ever seen Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady or Peyton Manning? They get pissed. They really do. I mean, you can all find videos of Aaron Rodgers and other great players getting pissed when they're losing, which is what Percy did on the sideline uh, of the Seattle Seahawks game this season. Skip forward a couple uh, months to the Seahawks game. He gets pissed at Frazier, and in the game, he tears his three of his ligaments in his ankle, and so he's messed up, um, and he can't play anymore. He tries to play during the game, but he can't. After after he gets after he gets injured, um, so he tries to make a recovery after the bye week. They keep thinking he can come back, but he can't. And then eventually he gets put on IR. And Percy Arvin's mad, so he gets mad at Frazier again, saying, probably I'm assuming that he's saying, "Oh, I can play," blah blah blah. You know, so he's mad about that. He stops associating with the Vikings, but he never really associates with them to begin with. He is really sort of a loner. Um, his best friend on the team is Adrian Peterson, and Adrian Peterson still doesn't know him very well. Um, so he goes to Florida, rehabs, um, and honestly, I don't think this is that crazy because a lot of the I looked it up, and a lot of the uh, players that went to Florida go to uh, UFs campus every offseason to train and all this stuff because they apparently have like really good trainers and stuff like that. I'm not saying the Vikings trainers aren't good. They did well enough to get Adrian Peterson back, but a lot of the Florida players like to go back to Gainesville. Um, and so, you know, attention seems to be there. And now the Vikings, reports say the Vikings are going to um, listen to the offers for a trade. Duh. I'm pretty sure if you're a smart GM like I think Rick Spielman is, you're gonna listen to offers. I mean, I would listen to offers on Megatron if they're gonna give me four first round picks and Tom Brady. I mean, you always listen to offers, so it's not really that much of news. And everything in the article by Ma um, Mark Max or Max Marks or whatever, literally everything had been reported months ago. There's really nothing. He's just... I don't know, it bothers me that they're trying to make a big deal out of something that's already there. You know, it's the off-season, and they're trying to make a story. Um, in my opinion, Percy Harvin's just trying to be neutral. He wants a big contract. And I don't think he deserves a contract the size of Brandon Marshall, the, the size that Brandon Marshall would deserve, or the size that Megatron would deserve, or the size that Larry Fitzgerald would deserve, because he's not that kind of a player. He can't. He's not tall enough and he doesn't have a high enough ver vertical to 
be able to compete for balls. You know, just Ponder could just throw it up there and he could go get it. Um, but he is good enough that he catches almost every ball that's thrown his way, something that not a lot of players can do. He gets more yards after the catch than any other receiver in the league almost all the time. And he can return kickoffs and take handoffs. He's pretty amazing as a player. Um, I really don't think there's that much tension in the locker room. I think both the GM, Rick Spielman, and Harvin's agent are just trying to battle it out with each other and try to get Harvin the best contract possible. Um, I really... <laughs> so, basically, I'm not too worried about Harvin, but I think if he does leave, if Harvin does leave Minnesota, I won't even be upset. Here's the thing. I will be... Right now, I'll be upset if Harvin leaves Minnesota because I don't see anything wrong with it. But if Harvin, if he does leave, I'm pretty sure there's more than just he wants money. And if he really is a problem for the team, you know, that's what you sometimes need. You some, I just don't think he's a problem for the team right now. I'll only think that he's a problem if they get rid of him. Um, uh, as, as, as far as trade partners, I just don't want to trade into the NFC North. Lions, um, Packers, and Bears, you're not getting Percy Harvin. I, I'd be pissed. I'd be pissed if Harvin went to one of those teams, because then he'd be destroying us twice a year with a better quarterback than we have. <laughs> so, that's basically it. I'll try and put up another video. I'm sorry I haven't been putting up a lot. Uh, go, Ra uh, good job, Ravens. Uh, congrats on your Super Bowl.